come over for an interview, right? Candidate A and candidate B. Who will you choose for your front desk? Candidate B. Why? Because it has whiter teeth. So how about this? Same qualification. No? Why why don't you choose A? Just because of the teeth is not nice, right? And you guys are doing uh, you guys are doing business in dental, it's about teeth, right? So if you can change someone from this to this, do you think that you are helping them to do a better opportunity, to give them a better uh, life, right? So as simple as just doing whitening, okay, you can change someone's life, right? So in aesthetic, in dental, what you can do for aesthetic, you can always do whitening. Okay, whitening is the most least invasive procedures. You don't you don't cut, you don't add, you don't subtract. Right? The other thing, besides whitening, you can also do composite veneering, you can also do porcelain veneering and braces. So these are the part of the aesthetic dental. Right? Now <coughs> so in whitening background, we say it's one of the least invasive dental procedures because actually you don't really cut, you don't add, you don't subtract. All you do is apply the gel and remove the gel and you can change the tooth color. Right? It's like 89% of these procedures completed by dental staff. Uh, we have few other products. Okay, we have the chest pipe, we also have the tech key. So you can always do these procedures in a very simple method. Right? Uh, well, this is based on the US statistic, but I believe in Nepal, everyone here always love to drink coffee, always love to drink, drink tea. Whenever I sit down, people will ask me coffee or tea, right? So I think this is the main thing that you guys, uh, the, the drinks that you guys always drink. And if everyone drink coffee, I believe everyone will have yellow tea, okay? And beside that, I also think that there's a lot of smokers here. So there are the few people that is the uh, target customer, target audience for whitening. Right? Now, what causes tooth discoloration? Okay, what makes our teeth yellow? Right? There are many factors, but most commonly is the food and the drink. Okay? Beside that, beside food and the drink that we daily consume is medications, right? trauma and also age factor. Right, so this also will contribute to your tooth discoloration. Okay, now up to now, you guys okay? All right, all right. Let's go. Now there's only two type of stain. Okay, there's only two type of stain that uh, that make your teeth yellow. The first is called extrinsic stain. Okay, extrinsic stain is what? This stain is mainly come from the food and the drinks. Okay, example, coffee, tea, uh, curry, uh, sambal, anything. Okay, everything that has coloring. Okay, even if you eat momos with the sauce, it also causes tooth discoloration. Okay, so this is uh, whatever that we consume, the food and the drinks, we call it as a extrinsic stain. Okay, and beside that, the other one is called intrinsic stain. Okay. For intrinsic stain, what is intrinsic stain? Intrinsic stain meaning that internal stain. Okay, it's either you are born with it, genetic, okay, or drugs, which is uh, normally some young kids, they need to take medications, uh, antibiotics, that will also affect their tooth color. Right? And last but not least, is the trauma. If they have accident, they bite on the tooth, they also will cause the tooth discolored and it's from inside. So we call it as an intrinsic stain. Okay, now, doesn't matter whether it's an extrinsic stain or intrinsic stain, both type of stain can be bleached. Okay, both sides also can be bleached. Meaning another way, there's nothing cannot be bleached. Right? Question is, is it safe or not? Okay, do you think doing bleaching is safe? Safe? Doing bleaching, do you think is it safe? Not safe? Bleaching for the sensitivity of the 
So the question, do you think it's safe? Yes, right. So it is safe. Why? There's hundreds of studies by Dr. Haywood, Dr. Bruce Mattis, Dr. Jared Kruger. Uh, all of them has proved that there is no enamel reduction, there is no enamel softening, there is no alteration or damaging on the enamel. If your enamel is like this before whitening, after you do bleaching, it is also like this. No change. Okay? What does it change? What change? Color. Awesome. Okay, I'm asking because uh, I want to know whether you guys get what I'm saying. Uh, right? Okay, so what change is only the color, right? Now, but not everyone can do whitening. Okay, we have limitations. So, patient below 10 years old, we don't do whitening. Okay, kids 10 years old, no whitening. Pregnant woman, okay, no whitening. Nursery mom, no whitening as well. That those that have breastfeeding, why? Because we don't have studies that prove it's safe within this uh, this type of patient. So we say, don't do it. After you deliver, only you do. After you finish nursing, only you do whitening. Right? Now, beside that, those that who have crown, who have breach, who have filling, who have class four, you know, composite respiration, all these not going to work on them. They, I mean, they work on the rest of the tooth that is original, but not the crown, bridge, or restore, restore teeth. Okay? Because that one you need to change the whole crown, or you need to remove the filling and then change the filling. We can't change the color of the filling. Alright? Beside that, those patients that have periodontal disease, okay? Uh, you know, the gum is not so healthy, so they are not suitable to do whitening. Treat the gum first, okay? Root surface does not respond well to the whitening or anyone who does not uh, who have allergic to hydrogen peroxide which is rarely happen. Okay? So how does it work? Okay, we always ask how does whitening work? Okay? Uh, they don't thin your enamel, they just change the color, how they change the color. So this they are gonna tell you how. How does bleaching work? Two point is a chemical process. When the bleaching material touches the tooth, the carbamide and hydrogen peroxide freely pass through the enamel and dent, which permeates all parts of the tooth. These peroxides break down in the oxygen radicals, which then migrate between enamel prisms, breaking down any colored molecules that result in tooth discoloration, thereby making the internal tooth. <laughs> I'm not sure if you can hear what they say, but uh, okay, in conclusion, okay, let me tell you how it actually works. Now, this is your teeth, right? So the why the teeth your teeth is this color, got colored, why? Because all the colored molecule all actually clustered together in front of your enamel. Okay? So when the lights go in, they reflect to your eyes, this is yellow, the stain, right? Now, what we do is, we put hydrogen peroxide or carbamide peroxide gel on top of the enamel, okay? Now, when it do on top of enamel, it will go into the enamel, it will break down into water, oxygen, and free radicals, okay? So, these three things will break down the colored molecule strength. So, what they do, they break down the colored molecule strength, now, here is more space already, right? When the lights go in, they will go into the retin and reflect to your eye that is white color because all the color molecule now has been separated. Okay? So that's, that is light can go in. Now, that is how it works. So if you have 1,000 color molecule in the enamel, after you do whitening, it still maintain 1,000. But what they do is they split it up. So there's more space, light can go in and reflect to your eye that is white. Alright? Now there's two types of whitening gel. Okay? Doesn't matter what company, doesn't matter where, doesn't matter how, there's only using two types of gel. Okay? Which is hydrogen peroxide or carbamide peroxide. 
Okay. So what's the difference between hydrogen and carbamide? Hydrogen peroxide faster breakdown. Okay. Shorter wear time. Right. Carbamide peroxide slower breakdown, longer wear time. Okay. Now. Hydrogen peroxide is three times stronger, meaning that if you are using 10% of hydrogen peroxide, it's equivalent to 30% of carbamide peroxide. Three times stronger. If you are using 15% of uh, hydrogen peroxide, it's equivalent to 45% of carbamide peroxide. So sometimes when you see uh, the products, 35%, 45%, but you see whether it's hydrogen peroxide or carbamide peroxide. Okay, if 40% hydrogen peroxide is equivalent to 120% of carbamide peroxide. So that is very high. Okay. Now, what uh, which type of the gel used for what type of stain? Hydrogen peroxide, fast mechanism, is only used for yellow and brown stain. Normal yellow and brown stain. Okay. Carbamide peroxide is used for normal yellow and brown as well but they are mainly target to the tough stain tough stain meaning that blue, grey, okay, tetracycline stain okay, very dark brown stain or smoker stain is all falls under carbamide peroxide right? so far, ok? understand the concept? right now, basically that is how it works Okay, that is what you're gonna use to do whitening, right? So welcome to the opalescence family. We have five categories, right? So what we provide, we will have this customized take-home kit whitening. You can do bleaching at home. Another one ready to go take-home kit whitening as well, bleaching at home. In office, which is doing at the chair side whitening, specialty and aftercare, right? So we have five categories. The benefit of our gel, the benefit of using Ultradent Whitening, which is opalescent, why you have to choose us? Number one, all our gel is loaded with potassium nitrate and also fluoride. All. Okay, meaning that why we have potassium nitrate? Okay, potassium nitrate is to prevent sensitivity. Okay, and why we have fluoride? Fluoride is to strengthen the enamel. So, if people say you do whitening, you will weaken your enamel, you will thin your enamel, that is not true. Because all the gel we actually loaded with fluoride to make it stronger. Okay? So all the gel we have PNF, potassium nitrate and fluoride. And all the take-home kit, okay, we have xylitol. Right? Xylitol, why we have xylitol? It helps to reduce caries causing bacteria. Right? Now, beside all that, okay. The most important thing is our gel is at neutral pH. Okay? It's not acidic, it's not alkali, okay? but it's neutral. Why we choose neutral? Because it will reduce again the caries causing bacteria and also it will prevent decalcification. To which if the if it didn't prevent decalcification, again it will make your teeth weak. Right? So it will prevent decalcification and the most important thing that we give 20% of extra water into all our gel. Okay? Why we give extra 20% of gel? Because it will prevent dehydration. When you do bleaching, you will have dehydration. Okay? So when you dehydrate, what will happen? What do what you think will happen if your teeth is dehydrated? Sensitivity, right? So you will have sensitivity. So we give more water to prevent sensitivity and also to prevent relapse. If you if your teeth is dehydrated, you will get whiter shape. Okay? Trust me, if you use a cheek retractor, you do a cheek retractor to your patient for two hours, it will become whiter. Okay? But when your patient drink, eat, dehydrate back, it will relapse. Alright? So when your teeth is dehydrated, it will become whiter. Okay? That is why we want to prevent the relapse, we give extra water. Alright? Now, let me introduce to you this product. And you guys we're gonna 
try this product today. Uh, last time we didn't try, right? No. Okay. So this time we'll let you try. How awesome is this product? Okay. This is Opalescence Go. Okay. Opalescence Go is a take-home kit. Right. Everything is prefabricated already. You do not need to do tray. You do not need to do anything. Okay. Just get the patient to wear the tray for half an hour, one hour, or one and a half hours, depend on the strength, and that's it. Okay, you will get a vital tip. Right? So this treatment is a 10 days treatment. Okay? Doing it at home. Alright? Not doing it at the clinic, but doing it at home. Um, but I heard from Pramo saying that the patient here, compliance is not good. Meaning that you ask them to do it at home. They do it today, they don't do it tomorrow, they don't do it the next day, and then they do it again, and then they don't do it again. When the consistency is not there, you will never get the result. Okay? Sorry? Yeah. Sorry? Uh, if you don't do it every day, you need to do it every day. Yeah. Only you can get good result. If you do today, tomorrow don't do, the next day don't do, and do it again, you will get the result. Okay, because this is a take-home kit. So, uh, what they say to me is, normally you ask the patient to come to the clinic and do it every day in the clinic, at least five to six days. Right? Then you will get the result. Right? But again, uh, it depends on how you teach the patient. If they buy the whole box, they do it at home, just make sure they do it. Okay? If they don't come to the clinic, you call them, do it today, do it today. It's only half an hour. Right? And this is obviousness though. Now we have bleaching oil oil Bleaching le generally we type of bleaching. So we have hydrogen peroxide, we have carbamide. generally we have bleach that we use also. Hydrogen is a stable, cleaning part. Use the one hydrogen. Forty percent hydrogen peroxide. So that is the side Yeah, the Okay, but no mix. Yeah, no mix. You move in China, bro. the type of six percent, ten percent, fifteen percent. Those are the hydrogen. Only five percent, only one percent. This is the main thing. This is the patient going to the hospital. Okay, when they are going to the hospital, they are going to the hospital. This is the main thing. This is the main thing. This is the main after patient life, you log on meeting with You has lost in log on person. to say down the life, I think it lost in log on Who my father is on to take the time to clinic my patient like I get a chair on the master instruction there. Who 15 percent or 10 percent? So, Bleaching 
ब्लिचिंग तो बोले पूर्व की वड़ा वाइट तो देख के टी आई बोलियो बोलते हैं ऐसे बाल तो जून साइड पे तार कुछ होती जून लेवल जून सेट मार देश पे चलते सेट तो फीलिंग बोलते हैं ऐसे ठीक समझ लो बोले यार जनरली ग्राउंड फीलिंग सब तो चेंज करोगे ना ब्लिचिंग क्यों से आपने तो यार तो Anyone understand English? Put up the hand. Five, two, and the rest? Three, four, five. Only five, six, seven. Okay, again. Understand English? Take up your right hand. Alright. Then why you need a translator? Okay? Just ask me if you don't understand. Why? Because I don't want not to say Pramod don't understand. Pramod know all the products, okay? But I want to let you know by stage and stage and stage. So now we are talking this obsolescence go take home key. I haven't touched on sensitivity yet. I haven't touched on anything yet. Okay? I will let you know about the sensitivity later part. Alright? But now obsolescence go. Okay? We have six percent, ten percent, and fifteen percent. Right? Three strength. Different strength, different wear time. Okay? Six percent, one and a half hours wear time. Ten percent, one hour wear time. Fifteen percent, half an hour wear time. Okay? Now, this is hydrogen peroxide. Okay? If you ask, will it cause sensitivity? Now, it's all back to you guys. Before you do any whitening procedure, okay? Before you do any whitening to the patient, First, you need to check the patient got sensitive or not. Ask them, when you drink cold water, sensitive or not? When you, uh, when, you, when you eat sour food, hot food, sensitive or not? If they say no, then you can proceed with whitening. If they say yes, then you need to treat sensitivity first. How to treat sensitive? We have this pro other product that treats sensitive, which is in aftercare, which I will tell you later. Right? But if the patient said no problem, okay, no sensitive, start do whitening. Okay? As simple as this opalescence go. How to use this opalescence go? Now, 
you center the arch, okay? Now you can see there's a white tray inside, right? Yeah. Okay? So make sure your arch is inside this white tray. Okay? So you center the arch, leave it up, put it inside the mouth. Uh, my upper is, is being here, so I'm going to do the Ramon, you do one also. Alright? So you center the arch, leave it up. This is limbo, right? Eh? Put it in, kiss two times. With the sound. Don't push. Okay, just kiss. Okay? Or swallow. I don't hear the sound. Kiss. Alright, after you kiss, remove the tray, leave the white tray in. Okay? Everyone in? In? So, see? Is it right? Alright? Okay. You have it? Everyone have to try. She did it. She did it. She did it. She did it. She did Yes. Now, our body has hydrogen peroxide. Okay, every, everyone is in the right? Okay, this one can throw. The tray, just throw it. It is disposable. Okay, so now, this is 10%. 10% one hour at time. So now we start. 11.30, you will finish at 12.30, okay? Now, you will say, can I swallow? You have a lot of saliva, right? You have, right? Okay. Don't worry, you can swallow. Okay, why we can swallow? Our body has hydrogen peroxide. Okay, so it's safe. And hydrogen peroxide, it will break down into water, oxygen, free radicals, and urea. Okay. So what urea do is it will pass out. Okay. So it's safe. Any questions? Remember, don't push, don't bite. Don't push. Don't bite. Why? When you push, you keep on push, what happened to the gel? If you push, what happened to the gel? Come out, right? It will go up from the tree, right? Then you don't have whitening anymore. The gel has to be inside. So don't push. Okay? Why don't bite? Don't bite, why? You see the tree, right? If you bite, if they have a hole, what happens? The gel will come out again, right? So if the gel come out, there's no whitening effect. Alright? Now, later, even though with one tray, you will see a good result. Alright? Okay. Let me see. What braces one? U, upper, L, lower. Okay, then you will fit nicely. Will underneath the bracket be yellow? Do you think that it will become yellow, yellow, yellow? The white and then yellow dot, yellow spot? Why? Because the bracket? You mean that the gel is not on the tooth? It's on the bracket. So, this one will become yellow and the rest will become white. Did you think that? Yes. Okay. No, no, that is wrong. No, no. There is conflict. There is conflict. No. It won't happen as well. 
Now, remember, hydrogen peroxide, when they break down into water, oxygen, free radicals. What free radicals do? They migrate. So the free radicals will go underneath the bracket. The gel already go into the enamel. So now the free radical go underneath the bracket to do the bleaching. So it won't have the yellow dot, yellow spot. Everything will become white after they remove the bracket. Okay? Alright. Now, after 10 minutes, after the tray inside the mouth for 10 minutes, it will form like an arch. So it won't be uncomfortable. You see, I can still speak. You also still can talk. That won't affect your speech. Okay? It is very comfortable. Alright? Now, we have this video to let dentists to promote, to let you guys to promote in the clinic. Okay? Why you need to do whitening and how you can do whitening? They can do whitening while they are gym, they ride, exercise, doesn't matter. They can do whitening while you are sitting, you can do whitening while you are listening to lectures. While you stuck in a traffic jam, you can also do whitening. Okay? Anywhere, anytime, you can do whitening. So there is no way why we have a yellow teeth. So this is amazing, okay? Now, I have cases from my doctors in India, okay? I have this type of patient. You, you know what is that? It's killing me, I'm not going to do it. Do you have a lot of patients like this? You see a lot of patients like this? They come and do scaling, they come and do polish, but the stain won't go away, right? It will maintain like this, right? This is after scaling. Okay, after scaling, become like this. One piece of opalescence go, 15%, half an hour. Dhamma, one piece of opalescence go, 15%, 10%. You want that, 50%. One hour, we buy it. One hour, we buy it. So, <laughs> Especially afford for some patients in the sense of the main is to have virus and kill them. Scaling person, scaling after scaling, how far you are asked by a patient like normal sense, more like the most asking to stay. And yet, after half an hour or one hour, which concentration you are applying? And you will like the calibre of the patient. Okay, so this is how we can apply the whitening. Okay, so this is how we can apply the whitening. Okay, so this is how we can apply the whitening. Can you guys do it? Yeah. So after scaling, if your patient has this kind of stain, okay, you can do it. Just tell them to buy one piece. Okay? And if they're happy, now this is not white. Okay? If this is maybe A1, okay? It's not A1, it's not white. But what it does is remove all the stain. Okay? Or this. Do you have this kind of patient staining? They got stain here. After staining, the stain will remove, right? It will maintain that, right? One piece of opalescence go 15%, half an hour. All the stain is gone. The teeth is not really white, it's slightly whiter a bit. It's because only one tray. If they want super white, they want like this white, they need to wear 10 days. 
but what this opalescence go do is they remove this stain, you see? Will scaling remove the stain? No. So you need opalescence go to remove it. So you can do this package treatment. Scaling plus stain remover, one piece of opalescence go. And when the patient remove it, they happy? Will they be happy? Yes. And will they ask you, I want whiter? They do, right? Then you sell them the nine piece balance. Okay? Alright? Simple. Right? Now this is opalescence go. Now this is another one, it's called opalescence PF. Okay, opalescence PF is carbamide peroxide. Right? Opalescence go is hydrogen peroxide. So that's why shorter wear time, we're gonna wear only one hour. Okay? When we talk about opalescence PF, it's carbamide peroxide, it is slower, wear longer. Okay? And this one is in the syringe type. Okay? The syringe look like this. And this one, you need to do a customized syringe. Okay? This is for what type of patient? Tough state. Tetracycline, blue, gray, yes, smoker. Okay? And if some stain is yellow, but they have the crooked teeth. Okay. So you understand why we need to use this? Because sometimes in the cooker you need to do the customized tray. Okay. Do you guys do tray? You have the former? Or you send it to So now when we use opalescence PF, you need to wear a longer time, right? If the gel is watery, will it stay in the tray? Remember, don't push, don't buy. Leave it like that. Okay? I have to already now. Be <laughs> So I have uh, very sensitive. You have sensitive? Yeah, you try. Know. Just try. If you have sensitive, remove it. Yeah. But if you don't have because we have a doctor who try, he keep on saying I have sensitive, I have sensitive, we ask him to try. He wear it for one hour, no sensitive. Remember, we have what inside? Potassium nitrate and fluoride in the gel. So it will reduce the sensitivity. Have you tried? Right. So why we have to have this so sticky so that the gel will stay on your teeth. Then it can do the whitening. If the gel all over, it won't do the whitening for you. Okay? So same on TF, our gel is very viscose. Okay? I can show you this. This is other brand. You see? The rest is very watery. Opalescent stay nicely. You see the rest? So, 
the viscosity of the gel is important so that it stays long, your soft frame will be stuck there. Okay? On plus SPF, we have four strength. How many strength you sell here? I will be in. Okay? Four strength. 10%, 15%, 20%, 35%. The difference is by time. 10%, 8 to 10 hours. Okay. 15%, 4 to 6 hours. Back. 20%, 2 to 4 hours. 35%, half an hour. Okay? So, if you use 10%, you do it at night, overnight, sleep while widening. Okay? And if you have sensitivity, you can go for 10%. Because the lower concentration, the lower sensitivity. Okay? So if you wear opalescence gold, you need to wear 6% if you think that you have sensitivity. But I can guarantee you, you wear 10%, no problem. You ten portion money, because almost three point three portion hydrogen peroxide was you only became. I thought we love what ten ten portion hydrogen thirty. You were just forty portion. They were the sensitivity. Now we low concentration of gold. Right. So the result of using PF. This type of patient, you think do they have hope? Normally, doctor would tell them do veneer, right? But before veneer, you can do whitening. You don't need to do veneer. You don't need to do filling. You don't need to do composite for that. Just let them do a tray, give them 10% or 15%, wear it overnight for two to three months time, every night. This is the result. Okay? So whitening is amazing. Alright? Or, this type of stain. If you have patients like this type of stain, you tell them to do veneer, right? Composite. But even if you want to do composite, it's so grey. You need to mask. And sometimes your mask will make it become very thick. So the best way is do whitening first. Then only you do veneer if they want. But if like this patient, this is the after result, two months. Do you think the patient want to do veneer? No need. Because it's so white already. Okay? Normal say five nights. Why they need to do PF? They can use opalescence go, right? Because this is yellow only. But why they need to do PF? Because of the crooked teeth. Right? This is also Okay, normal yellow, 10%. Now, not gonna replace. So, for PF, you need to do customized ray. So, normally you take impression, you do the slow cast, you send to the left, right? So, when you send to the left, make sure they do this block out. Okay. If you have blue gray stain, two to four weeks time. Smoker, one to three months time. Tetracycline, one to twelve months time. Average, three to four months. Okay. So, you guys understand? All good. Any question? Okay, uh, any questions? No. All good, right? Okay, so besides the home key, what else that we have? We have one chair side. Okay, if you do it in the clinic, this is opalescent boost, this is 40% hydrogen peroxide. Okay, this is very, very high concentration. Okay, right? for chair side, one hour power bleach. Okay, so this 40%. Uh, it is chemical activated. Okay? You don't need to put light, it's nothing. It's just chemical activate. Okay? 
Once you activate, you apply to the tooth. Alright? The step of doing it is. Do not use one when right. sensitive to the Use caution to not to disturb the Don't rinse first. Clear suction periodically while the upper back. And monitor patient sensitivity and irritation. If persistent, so if you're sensitivity, you apply the desensitizer. But if no sensitivity, apply for another round. Maximum is three times of 20 minutes. So after the second time, happy already, then you stop. If it's not happy what uh, you do at the third time, and after you finish everything, breathe. And remove the upper there. Use a dental instrument to remove secured focal handwriting barrier. Whitening effect may continue for 24 to 48 hours in all the morning. So a slight increase in whitening may be realized during this period. So all very clear? Very easy, right? First, you need to mix it. Okay. So how to mix it? Push the white wine first plunger, push it in. Then push it again, all the way going into the red wine. Then you mix left, right, left, right 50 times. Once you mix properly, it will become red. If you don't mix properly, it becomes white. If it's become white, can you do whitening? Yes, you can, but the chances of sensitivity is higher because the P and F is not activated. Once you become red, P and F is activated, potassium nitrate and chloride is activated, it will reduce the sensitivity. Okay? So once you do that, then again, remember, isolation is important. Then you put the opal dam. Opal dam is how thick? It's 1.5 to 2 mm thick. Okay? And between uh, 0.5 mm from the enamel. So this is the enamel. This is your gum. 0.5 mm from the enamel, you apply the, the opal dam. And then on top of it is about 1.5 to 2 mm thickness. Okay, pull it up, like cure it, then you apply the gel. Okay. Now, apply again second time, maybe for 20 minutes, then you suck up, evaluate the shape. If you're happy with the shape, then you stop. If you're not happy, you can do one more time. 20 minutes, suck up. Maximum three applications per treatment. Okay? After finish, you suck up, rinse, remove the opal dam, and then you take the shape. So this is the before and after. Okay? Before and after. Two sessions. Okay? Before and after. Okay. This one is called upper luster. What is upper luster? Upper luster is a abrasion slurry. Okay, it's a silicon carbide particle. Okay, for you to remove a very thin layer of the enamel. Okay, and it comes with a 6.6% of hydrochloric acid. Okay, it is meant for what type of stain? It's meant for this type of stain. Okay. Which is like this. If you do whitening, this will be white. This one, this one, you stay. Okay. So for this case, no PF boost, no remove. Only this. Okay. And Fluorosis stain. You see a lot? White spot, fluorosis. You can also do that. This is fluorosis, and they remove the fluorosis and they do whitening. So that is why it becomes white. Okay? How to do this? It is for professional use only. Before beginning the procedure, determine and record a baseline shape. 
it is also recommended to take photographs for patient record. Because of the hydrochloric acid contained in opal mustard, isolation is extremely important. Also, both you and your patient should wear protective eyewear. For additional patient comfort, apply a lip emollient prior to treatment. Apply the rubber dam attaching to the frame and inverting the dam at the gingival border. For additional protection, use orosil caulking to prevent tissue damage. Simply peel back the rubber dam to expose the tissue. Express a small amount on a pad first to check flow, then express a thin ribbon of orosil caulking beneath the rubber dam along the gingival margin to prevent leakage. Reattach the rubber dam to the frame and reinvert the rubber dam where needed. Alternatively, a light cured resin barrier such as opal dam can also be placed at the gingival margin prior to the procedure to prevent tissue damage. When using opal dam, express the resin to build a 2 mm strip along the gingival margin, extending about 0.5 mm onto the enamel. Extend the resin beyond the last tube to be treated. Where open embrasures exist, express resin through the opening onto the lingual gingival tissue. This will protect interdental papilla and lingual gingival tissue, as well as add retention to the opal dam. Light cure the resin barrier using a pass-by cure. Take care to keep the light moving over soft tissues. Check the line access of each tooth for voids and add barrier if necessary. When applying opal luster, remove the lower lock cap from the opal luster syringe and securely attach the white mag tip. Verify flow prior to intraoral placement. Apply approximately one millimeter thick layer over the discolored area. Using a rubber profi cup at a slow RPM, apply medium to heavy pressure for 60 seconds at a time. Suction the paste from the teeth first, then rinse. Evaluate and repeat as necessary. Reapplication can be conservative and limited to the areas requiring additional treatment. After the final rinse, remove the rubber dam and sealer from the teeth, then rinse. So this thoroughly. is a very amazing Apply result. a neutral sodium chloride gel to the enamel. Really relief and also to maintain the shape. Okay. After you do whitening, the question is how long does it last? Right? How long you think does it last? How long is the whitening that last? How long? You think? After you do whitening, how long will it last? Six months? Three months? One year? One year? Now, if it's only three months, will the patient do? Will you do? No. It can last at least one year. At least one year. Yes. But again, it depends on the lifestyle. If you do whitening already, you every day, one pack of cigarette, five cups of coffee, you think it can last one year? So to make sure it can last longer, you need to do maintenance. So how to do maintenance? Number one, you can go for toothpaste. Number two, you can use opalescence go every month, one time. Every month wear one time. Ramut, he has done whitening 10 years ago. And every year, now let them see your teeth. Oh, not yet. <laughs> now, later you see his teeth. Every year, he only do one time once a year. Every time you have the whitening lecture, he will wear. Okay? So when he wear, is to maintain. He don't smoke. He drink coffee, but he not really smoke. So the stain goes so fast. Okay, the whitening last longer. Now, how many? Will whitening affect the enamel? Will the whitening make your enamel weak? Will bleaching make your enamel weak? Will bleaching harm your enamel? Yes? No. No. Why? Because we have potassium nitrate and also fluoride inside the gel. So it won't harm your enamel. How many shades will my teeth whiten? How many shades? Three? Three? 
two to three. But if you tell patient two to three shade, they do. Do they do whitening? Just so little. And so much I need to pay. They don't do right. Normally it's seven to ten shade. Seven to ten shade. Whiter. In half. Now. This is white shade, guys. Right? Okay. This is white white shade, guys. Right, right? Everyone knows this, right? A one, A two, A three, A three point five. I last time A three point five. Now is A one. How many shades? One, two, three. But I see ten shade, right? I say attempt to tension, right? Okay. Patient don't know by tension. You know, I know, don't know. Okay. What they know? From tension. Rearrange of by tension, guy. Whiter to the darkest. Come on, you need to share that line, sir. Right or maybe darkest. So this is important. Change your shape. Rearrange your shape. Now, A3.5. So last time I had A3.5. Now I become A1, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So is it correct? Ten shade. Yeah. So if you tell your patient ten shade, will they pay and do whitening? Yes. Okay. So. So this is all about the whitening. Okay. Now I noticed you guys uh, take videos. You saw all the videos, right? All the videos can be searched at YouTube. Okay. YouTube channel, type Ultra Day product. Okay. 